About 50 million K through 12 students are heading back to the classroom and parents across the country are of course buying school supplies. A new survey shows 10% of parents expect to go into debt to pay for those items. Nancy Chen has tips to stretch your dollars. For parents, back to school means back to spending. Since 2016, average household spending on back to school has increased 30% with families expected to shell out more than $870 in 2024. What are parents facing this year? Parents everywhere are certainly excited for their kids to go back to school, but the cost of all of those things you need to buy for your kids really adds up. Sarah Rathner is a personal finance expert with NerdWallet. When you're already stretched thin, you're going to have to make some hard decisions. But there are also easy ways to save. Check out so-called Buy Nothing groups on Facebook, Nextdoor, and the Buy Nothing app. Those are groups on social media. You can request if anybody has an item your child needs that they don't need anymore. So you're saying it's completely free? It is, yes. It, people are giving of their own abundance. And if you can't find what you're looking for for free, there are online platforms to buy items used, like Swappa, OfferUp, and Facebook Marketplace. Don't forget to shop around. Target, Walmart, Staples, and Amazon are all offering 50 cent deals on different basics, like notebooks, crayons, pencils, and glue. Staples will also give you $10 off a purchase of $30 or more if you trade in older items like binders or backpacks as part of their recycling program. For kids uniforms, polos are $7 or less and skirts $12 or less at Target, Old Navy and the Children's Place. Check out JCPenney, Walmart and Amazon for shoes under 20 bucks. With a little homework, you can get an A plus in economics this back to school shopping season. There are several organizations that families can turn to for help. ICNA Relief and the Salvation Army are two national groups that assist low-income families with back-to-school. Many local churches and libraries also operate drives. 